I was doing some work around my home. Some painting, upgrade light fixtures, new carpets, you know, the like. I'd already completed the bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen. From my downstairs, I still had the dining room, study, and the hall to complete. I decided I'd do the study first. The hall was fairly small, and the dining room had some intricate moldings that I really wasn't looking forward to having to mess with. So, this weekend, I set upon taking down the old molding and fixtures in the study. A certain fixture, one that was on the wall, not the ceiling, was being a pain. So much so that you'd think whoever put it there didn't ever want it removed. Well, that turns out to be the case. After pulling it down with the help of a pry bar and hammer, you can see that they intentionally plastered it to the wall. I was confused to say the least until I looked in the hole behind the wall where the fixture had been. There was a small box, kind of like an olden style jewelry box. It was covered in dust that seemed an inch thick. I pulled it out and took it to the bathroom to get it cleaned off. After removing all the dust, I could see it looked to be a fancy Victorian style jewel box, complete with ornate gems on it. I was confused, but figured it must have been valuable or important because they hid it to keep it safe and either forgot about it before they moved or passed away. Eagerly, I opened it and there was a faded piece of paper folded on top of something. I grabbed out the paper and dropped it. Under it was an eyeball. It looked real. I picked up the paper and read what it said. Don't touch this. He'll find you. I looked at the eye. It looked real, but I was convinced it couldn't be. It would have been in this box that long and would have dried out, rotted away or something. Now, this had to be fake. I picked it up and immediately dropped it. It felt real, even slimy. I again picked it up to put it back in the jewelry box and my vision went dark. Couldn't see anything at first, but my vision started to clear and I could see myself as if from the eye I was holding. I see you, a loud voice boomed in my head. It sounded watery, as if when you're trying to talk with a small amount of water in your mouth. I dropped the eye and again my own vision came back. I'm coming from my eye, the voice again boomed. I could hear slimy, sloppy footsteps from outside the bathroom in the hall. The door flew open and there he was, beaming smile on his rotting flesh of a face his one remaining eye fixed on me. I screamed.